You ever clicked on a link and then immediately regretted it? You know, maybe clicked on a wreck thread on 4chan or gone down a spiral into some very sketchy clickbait and at the end been presented with a video of like a house cat being lit on fire or a dog being kicked to pieces. Animal cruelty can be kind of an instant psychopath test, you know? A normal person might see something like that and it puts them in a funk, you know? Put them in a bad mood, at least for a little while. You see a vulnerable thing being hurt, you don't enjoy it. Alternatively, if you laugh when you see a video like that and save it or bookmark it for later, let's say, you know, so you can go back and laugh at it again, there's a good chance you're pretty fucked in the head. Now imagine a YouTube channel where instead of pets being tortured, it's children. That's Daddy of Five, the child abuse comedy channel, and boy is it popular. Come with Dr. Downvote as we take a fucking look. Tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. <laughs> what the? Animals could be dead and slaughtered. Guys! Get what just happened! Now at the end of the last video, I said, if there is someone on YouTube who Dr. Downvote might have a bone to pick with, please leave your suggestion in the comments. And I read all of those suggestions, and there was one in particular that I instantly wanted nothing to do with. Being a mad scientist in a room filled with toys, uh, it seemed like a bit of a heavy topic for me. Apparently, Ethan and Ela, you know, Papa bless them, love you guys, uh, wanted nothing to do with this either. Because over on the H3H3 subreddit, there was a thread about this family that got a ton of upvotes, and they locked it. In the comments of my Tasha Mama video, the same Redditor who made that thread left this comment. Please check out Daddy of Five. He's a father who, in every couple of videos, physically or verbally abuses his children. He needs exposing. And it got the most likes. Woof. I mean, you read something like that, and you think, that, that can't be true, that must be an exaggeration. Like, abusing children, that can't be the focus of a YouTube channel, right? Like, Google wouldn't allow that. Oh, it's only one hell of a channel, steadily zooming up on its way to a million subs. 266 videos, 150 hours of content much of which I think should be seen by a judge. And maybe the scope of this channel is why it still exists, why it's still going on. Like maybe there's just too much video for Child Protective Services to make their way through and they've just given up. You know, yet another upside to Google favoring watch time in the algorithms. We get hundreds of hours of something bad. Just looking at Daddy of Five's thumbnails, it does not take more than a glance to see we've got some major problems ahead. So daddy and mommy have used this channel to document themselves striking their kids Fucking told you that! Pulling their hair, kicking them, cracking their head on the bed frame Stop! The wall I said it! Throwing them into the furniture Bending them Stop. over by shoving their head to the ground With what we know now about the long-term effects of concussions It is not hashtag funny to see little kids cracking their heads Here's one example of a daddy of five video and how he sees fit to promote it across social media Dad punches kid in the face, hashtag funny so how twisted is the dad who would think this is funny? Punching his daughter in the face. What is, what is funny? Is it the punch or it's a little girl getting punched by an adult man that's funny? I just don't see it. Maybe the funny part is that Instagram would delete a woman's account for a nip slip, but then allows this man to have this insane account. I guess that's funny in like a misplaced priorities kind of way. As far as the dad's viewpoint is concerned, he's running a comedy channel. But here's one example of a particularly cruel video where the dad apparently made a mistake and pasted the keywords he wanted to use right into the description of the video. So we see how he wants to describe it via keyword. Funny children, funny kids, funny, funny kid videos. Funny, okay? Keep the word funny in mind. Because when mom and dad aren't acting funny to the kids, the kids are just destroying each other. Can you guys stop? <laughs> oh my god, he's trying to fuck. Oh! Are you really hurt? <laughs> what hurt? She jumped on my back! <laughs> oh my god. Stop! And this is just what Mike feels safe uploading to the public eye. There's clearly some violence that doesn't make it on camera. The youngest and the weakest and the most sensitive kid, Cody, is always nursing an injury. He's always covered in bruises. From video to video, there are signs of abuse all over his arms, his legs, his face. 
There's now at least one fight video for almost every single combination of the seven family members. What are you in the mood for today? Jake beats up Alex, Ryan versus Jake, Emma beats up Cody, Mom beats up Dad, Jake crushes Cody. Looking at those thumbnails and how cruel this is, again, it started to remind me of animal fight videos. Lion versus bear, bear versus leopard. You know what I'm talking about? There are these bootleg nature videos that kick around YouTube and some of the sleazier video sites. It seems like Mike is taking his inspiration for kid fight videos from that. Alex vs. Cody, Alex vs. Emma, all variation of kid fight. And the parents are there, usually holding the camera instead of keeping the peace. They do sort of half-heartedly say stop while it's happening, but it's kind of Willy Wonka-like. Stop. Don't. Can you guys stop? They make sure it plays out, for a while at least. Oh, they might pause the video if it looks like a window is gonna get broken. But... Be careful, you're not with But for them, this is clearly about getting their clickbait violence for the channel, setting up a crazy thumbnail, and making that sweet ad revenue. You know, the welfare of the kids clearly comes last. That was fun. All right, I had to turn the camera off to deal with all that guys. MMA refs will end fights faster than these two parents do. The dad also likes to set up any situation he can where the oldest brother Jake can terrorize the rest of the family. He'll follow him around with a camera no. while he trashes their rooms, hurts them, scares them. Cody. Or if he can't be bothered to be the cameraman himself, Cody. he'll just give his phone or his camera to Jake and then pretend like it happened organically. So if you're wondering, why Jake had my phone is because we have all the social media also. So Jake will take over some of that sometimes, spawn back to people and all that stuff. Jake helps out with that, so Jake had the phone. So that's how all this ended up happening. There are lots of little moments where the dad is pretending to yell at Jake like, no, you went too far, but he's clearly winking at him at the same time. You know, good job. Jake's doing what his dad wants. You stay the hell out of his damn room! It doesn't take long to figure out that the dad really likes this son and does not favor this son. He was not pleased, and I couldn't stop laughing. When the kids are crying or in pain, Mike loves it. Stop! <laughs> what? Stop my tablet! It's you're a freaking idiot! Cody! Drunk. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm trying to draw a freaking picture. I'm trying to draw a freaking picture and you just guys just ruined it. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yes. Me. What is wrong with you, boy? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. Emma, she Emma, got you. <laughs> I have to ask you, what kind of dad would set up a game where his kids have to hit each other to play it? We're gonna play bottle flip slap. Now, if you don't land, you can't the other person gets to slap you in the face. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I quit. No. And of course, the game also includes his sons hitting his daughter. You know you don't hit girls. Yeah, but, but she's your sister. She don't count. What the heck? Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't say like that. I said give her a little tap. <laughs> wow. So at this point, you'd think Mike, you know, says game over and then goes and comforts his daughter who's crying. I didn't, oh my god! You said a little t Oh my god, Emma! Why'd you want to play? No, 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 none of that. She's gonna have to just cry it out on her own because Mike lacks any normal parental instinct to nurture his own children. Dad, good, I hope you- Oh! You got a big bruise right there. This was all funny to him. And in the moment, all he cared about was making sure it was on camera. Oh my God! To understand how we've ended up with this channel filled with suffering children, I guess it's important to see how did they get started? You know, what was their first viral video that they've been trying to replicate? Well, that would be Dad Destroys Son's Xbox. Prank. Prank. 
his emphasis on prank. In this video, the dad smashes his son's Xbox with a hammer, which of course makes the kid Cody cry. What? Wait! Okay! Off to the side, the brother laughs and records it. They leave Cody sobbing in his bed and they go in the hallway and just laugh and laugh and laugh to the tunes of him crying. When they give him another Xbox and the prank is revealed, Cody can't even wrap his head around why his dad would do that to him. Why do you do that? Go play. This is your like Xbox. You. This one's you, yours. You tricked me. You're, I don't like that you. That was the broken Xbox. I don't like you. This is yours. I don't care. You want to break this one? I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you for what you did. Oh that my hurt God. my feelings. 3.7 million views, Cody. That's why they did it. And after a hit video like that, they saw dollar signs. So of course, there were sequels. There were quite a few sequels. Xbox Freakout Part 1, Xbox Freakout Part 2. Dad steals son's Xbox. Dad destroys son's Xbox 1 Part 2, The Revenge. Tablet destruction prank. Dad destroys son's DS. The goal of all these videos, of course, is to make Cody as upset as possible. That's what makes the soggiest footage, as, his, as Mike likes to put it. Now, Mike really wants to use the word prank whenever he can, but I think he also senses that that opens him up to criticism because, you know, the pranks can get really cruel. So in order to get away with it, in order to get away with doing basically whatever he wants to his kids, he tries to blur the line between pranking his kids and disciplining his kids. And blurred line doesn't even really work as an analogy because these are not two adjacent concepts that are just separated by a thin line. Mischief and justice are two concepts that are completely incompatible. It's why we don't have statues of Bart Simpson in every single courthouse in America. It's why we don't pledge allegiance to one nation with liberty and trolling for all. Like I said at the top, Mike has uploaded a staggering 266 videos to this channel and we can't talk about them all today. So let's start with a typical one. Uh, Xbox One Freakout Part 1. Now this video is going to be catastrophic, and Mike knows it, so he tries to set up a situation where he can establish that Cody is bad and needs to be punished. To do this, he sets up the flimsiest scenario of disobedience. He calls Cody into the living room over and over, and then when Cody comes, he doesn't, he ignores him, doesn't tell him anything. So eventually Cody realizes this is just some kind of joke, and when he gets called the next time, he just answers him with his voice instead of coming into the living room, like anybody would. But whoa, whoa, that's Cody being bad, okay? Cody's being bad there, got it? By not falling for his dad's prank calls over and over, that's Cody being a bad kid. Cody! 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 Oh boy, now it's time to punish him. So punishment starts by Mike walking into Cody's room and switching off the Xbox in the middle of him playing it with no warning, which if you've ever had done to you, uh, the anger instantly spikes. You lost them. Taking it. You lost your games. I don't care. You're a jerk. You lost them. For fun, he just starts screwing with his head. Mike makes Cody say over and over, you're the best dad ever. You know, like trying to give Cody some hope that he can resolve this. Best dad ever. Best dad ever. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What? Look at me. Look at me. Say, I'm the best dad ever. You're the best dad ever. I know, but you still can't have your games, Cody. You don't have to try to flatter me. Just play with my friend. <laughs> Notice the sadistic laugh again. Totally typical behavior from Mike whenever his kids are crying. Smile. I want to see you smile. Mm -mm. No, look at me and smile. I'm going to count to three. One. More manipulative head games. Making him smile when he's crying. This is all part of a punishment, remember? No, that's not a smile. No, no game. So the footage cuts then and comes back. And when we come back, we see that Cody is crying in the corner and Mike kicks him to get a rise out of him. What are you doing? Stop! Get up! No! Get up! He wants Cody to really lose it again for this video. So he starts probing around for buttons he can push. He tells Cody he's going to give his Xbox to his sister. I'm going to give it to Emma. No, you're not. I'm going to give your no. Xbox to Emma. You're the worst dad ever. All right, I'm going to go just, get it and give it to Emma. I hate you. Go right. away. Get out of my face. Don't you like treat you. me bad. Agreed. So the torture continues to the point where Cody, in desperation, tries to flee the house to get away from his dad. But his sister rats on him, and they find him on the porch, crying in a ball again. Get in this house. Me! Because Mike's a grown-up man with grown-up ideas, he decides to play a game of keep away with Cody. He holds the Xbox and makes him chase him around the house while he giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it's starting to get a little sillier now, right? So maybe the punishment's over? Not even close. Daddy sets up a whole new scene for us. He hands the Xbox to his daughter, Emma, 
has her lock the door, and then tells Cody, tricks him, into thinking that his sister is deleting all of his saved files, all of his games. So Cody throws himself against the door, you know, tries to bash it down, but because he's a little kid, he can't. He just hurts himself in the process, and then he cries and leaves. But we can milk this for a bit, right? So Mike tells the sister to open the door, and then tells Cody, Cody the come on, the door's open. open! So Cody runs down, and then they close it. It's like the Charlie Brown trick. Gotta keep it going, gotta keep it going. So they give the Xbox to the older brother who holds it over his head while Cody cries. You know, Cody obviously worried that this Xbox is gonna get smashed again like the last few. Finally, they give him the console back and Cody's so upset that he can't even get his bearings. Break my glasses! Stop turning the camera off! When this video ends, Mike means to say long, but he accidentally says wrong. This video was so wrong. It took all day to record this video, all this stuff. Nice Freudian slip there, buddy. So wrong. He's trying to impress us with how hard he worked on the video, but he's in the same time revealing that he tortured Cody in the house all day long. Fun, right? Funny kids. If you think I'm cherry picking the one messed up video, I'm not. That was the lighthearted stuff. It's gonna get way harder to watch. Maybe. So we established that Cody crying is the money maker on this channel. And in order to get these big emotional reactions out of Cody, the dad and the brother are constantly destroying his room and trashing his personal possessions. A school project that he was proud of? Ripped the wheels off that. I didn't even touch you. A paper pinwheel that he made. Tear that to pieces for the camera. A Valentine's card from his mother. Let's shred it. And Cody is a sensitive kid, which is exactly why they do this to him. Over and over and over and over. It's that junk. It's stuff for my friends and my family that I actually care about. He destroyed my pinwheel for a piece that I worked so hard on. He destroyed everything I know. Sometimes the dad tortures Cody, sometimes the brothers do it. And there are lots of these videos with titles like Kid Destroys Brother's Room, Kid Terrorizes Little Brother, Kid Terrorizes Little Brother Part 2, Jake Makes Cody Psycho. Thinking back on my own experiences and things I saw growing up, I've seen kids traumatized by way less than what Cody's going through. 1% of what Cody's been through on video can contribute to a kid becoming a very weird adult. You know, it's so easy to screw up a kid's childhood, even by accident. Take a kid's cheese pizza that he was looking forward to and laugh at him once and he might grow up to start a band called Cheese Pizza and be a Hollywood train wreck. <laughs> this trauma is not accidental, it's intentional. Cody has his mother telling him things like, I don't like you as part of a prank or we're giving you up for adoption as a big joke. And what's the reason they give him for why they don't like him, why they're giving him up? Because his room is too messy because he doesn't care about his personal possessions. And you take us for granted, you take all your stuff for granted, and you treat all of us like shit. You ain't gonna have none of that stuff until you learn to re respect people and, and care about your stuff and give a damn about your family. I'm stressing out about this dipshit up here. But wait, isn't the reason that you smash his stuff because he does care about things and it's gonna give you a big reaction? The hypocrisy here of these parents is truly enough to make your fucking head explode. What were you teaching him when you destroyed his room over and over? A messy room is the only predictable result. If you were raising a child in a laboratory setting and you were trying to teach them not to care about their possessions, wouldn't you just take their things every time they started to care about them and smash them to pieces? over and over until they just gave up, stopped caring about things. In fact, I think that's part of the Weapon X program. That's how you make a killer. And when you get home, you're cleaning out your entire fucking dresser. Again, whatever, Cody. Bullshit. Bull shit. Cinderella was treated better by her wicked stepsisters and wicked stepmother than Cody is treated by his real brothers and real parents. Bullshit. Bull shit. I'd rather be kicked in the balls by a buffalo than take your ass to Disneyland. The world doesn't revolve around you or give a god darn about your moment. Now you're pissing me off. You take these fucking clothes and put them away. Hey, here's a video that's so cruel that you just might want to do something about it. In fact, this is the video where Nikki stopped by the office just to say hi and saw one minute of this video and left the room crying. She'd never heard of Daddy of Five, didn't know what she was walking into, watches this video just for a bit, almost immediately, tears. You know it's gonna be funny, right? Right after I finish watching this video, I check on her, and she is uh, Googling school districts near Daddy of Five's P.O. box. You know, she's trying to figure out how she can get help for Cody. 
She must be a hater. So without further ado, please do not enjoy the Cody gets put up for adoption prank. Now look here. We're going to send you to live with another family. What do you not like me as a kid? I do like you as a kid, but you're really annoying. You got to go. Pretty quickly, we can see that this adoption concept deeply upsets this kid. As you'd expect it would, you know, being completely rejected by both your mom and your dad at the same time. Just the family needs me more than we need you. Fine, then I'll go live somewhere else. You are. You're leaving. You're out of here. Where are you going? No. Get in here! No. Cody, now! I'm not leaving you. You're not. You would never do that. Let's go pack his stuff. No. We're packing his stuff. You gotta go, Cody. That look. There's something so evil and yet so stupid in that face. It just makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. Don't turn your back on something like this, ever. You know, it's like those evil apes in Planet of the Apes. Same face. I'll take on an evil genius any day, but this kind of idiot, you know. No! We're packing your stuff! Hi! No! Stop it! I hate you, just go! You keep being bad! You won't do your chores! Well, put me up for adoption. Shut up! Okay? Shut! No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop. Stop that. What is this? Can you stop? Stop! Stop! Did you see that? He threw him into the bed there. That was his head that made that sound. Oh, my dude, you just got pranked! Could this just be the funniest video ever? Pranked! Filthy prank! Yeah, I'm gonna give this TV to Emma. We're gonna make this Emma's room. No, she has a room. We're gonna give this to Alex. We're giving Cody up for adoption. Yes. And this is gonna be your room. Stop it! No! Stop! You're getting violent, and that's why you're out of here. Shut Stop. up! Stop. Stop. Go! Go die in a fire! I hate you! I know you ain't talking to me like that. I like you're not my mom anymore, so I might as well talk. No, stop it. I'll Cody, beat you down, you. boy. So you're gonna beat down your boy for him being mad that you're giving him up for adoption. Oh yeah, that's some uh, that's some quality tri-state area lady trash right there, huh? I'm gonna beat you down, boy. Cody, I still love you. No, you don't. You never even did. <laughs> None of you ever loved me. None of you ever loved me, he says. Hey, idiots. You think it's time to end the prank yet? No, no, no. Increase the prank. Tell Cody you're calling the cops on him. The reason you have to go is because you don't appreciate it. I need somebody to come and get my son out of my house because he's being violent and he's attacking me. A real, okay. a real mom and dad actually, a real mom and dad that actually cared about their, their children would not do this. You're absolutely right about that, Cody. I couldn't have said it better myself. Stop it. Ah! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Mom. it. Mom. What's your deal? Mom. Mom. I hate you. It's not time to end the prank yet? Not even now? We'll give one away on YouTube. Stop. Stop. I'm going to call Tom Cody Services. It's time to stop. Stop. Cody. Ah. That's enough. Cody. I got your Xbox. Shut ah. Could you stop? What is he doing? Stop. No. Stop. 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 You want me to use stop. my skills No. Can you stop? No! What is your deal? I hope, I hope your face falls off your ugly head! I hate you! Why? Oh. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to bite your fingers off! Why? Can you stop? Can you stop? Why would he stop? You started this. You're all ganging up on him now. You're, you're hit him, hitting him while he's down, literally. What are you doing, you sick fox? No, I don't like you. Is he going under the bed? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like this one. What? Go! I don't really like doing this prank. You ruined my life! This prank is a little harsh. Really? All you said was he had to go. 
Cody. Get off! Cody! <laughs> You're gonna break your bed! <laughs> oh my god! Ow! Yo! Pranked, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Get off of me! Hey! I don't want to see you! Stop it! Listen! <laughs> Cody! All right, you don't want none of your stuff no more. You don't want me to be- You ruined my life! Hey, Cody. This is a prank. You want to do the outro? No! You want to ruin the video? I don't want to do anything! Do you want to ruin the video? This guy over here. You're going to apologize for being so mean. Or I will take all your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, apologize to your parents for this video, Cody. You were rude. You said mean things, and you swung on us, and you swore you would never do that. Looking like a damn demon. <laughs> he looks like a demon spawn. I thought you guys were being serious. Cody! I would never get rid of you, not for the world. All's forgiving, get the chores done. Ugh. So it sort of ends on an uplifting burp, I guess. Mike forgives himself. Uh, Cody learns that his parents would never do what they just did. That is until the next time that they do the exact same thing to him. Oh, there is a part two and a part three in this trilogy. Finding Cody a new home. Also, Cody gets kicked out. A couple weeks, a couple months later, they just do it again. Here we go. We're back in the funny zone again. A kid feels unloved. I have to stay right here with my family where I belong. So this time they shut him in a closet. They laugh at him like evil apes again. They wrench him out of the closet by his arm. They chase him into the bathroom. You guys don't care about me. That's the problem. You don't like me. Get out. You all don't care about me. You all don't love me. You all don't like me. I do like you. I gotta get your help. I don't like you because you're bad. Exactly. I love you, but I don't like you. So what kind of mother, uh, what kind of disgusting bitch would, when her son is hysterically crying, when he feels like he's at the bottom of the world, would twist the knife and tell him, I don't like you. And all of this for YouTube views. You know, I, th I came down hard on spiritual Tasha Mama in the last video, but uh, I think we found the actual worst mom on YouTube. burns down. Ugh, so what am I saying? So even if you have dead frogs for a heart, it's extremely difficult to watch Cody suffering day after day, video after video. I have to stay right here with my family where I belong, and you can't do anything about that! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh at that. You were just telling him he doesn't love his family, and then he says that, and you laugh at him. Fucking... Sorry, I'm... handling this hate is uh, difficult sometimes. Why I have to wear these gloves? It's just a prank. It's messed up, Cody. It's just a prank, bud. It's messed up. You're absolutely right, Cody. You know, again, out of Cody's mouth comes the truth. I think it's, <sighs> Cody. I think it's pretty obvious that you're smarter than your dad. So at the end of this video, uh, fresh off the head rush of torturing his child for an extended period of time, Mike does the outro. And uh, he of course pats himself on the back for how Cody was convinced that the whole thing was real. And he uh, does his typical call to action bullshit, you know, follow me on blah, blah, blah. And so it, it creates the illusion for a moment that we just watched a normal YouTube video and not gut-wrenching footage of child abuse. Well, if you guessed this thing uh -huh. is not like the others. So is one type of abuse worse than another? I don't know. It certainly feels that way. You know, it, it certainly seems that way as far as what type of abuse seems to obviously get under the skin of these kids. But, uh, you know, if, if you're one of these people who thinks that children shouldn't be cussed at or screamed at by their role models, well, Daddy of Five is documenting plenty of that for you, too. You are lazy as fuck, Ryan! You are fucking lazy! Unlock this fucking door! Get your ass up! Emma. I don't give a damn! You take these fucking clothes and put them away! Open the fucking door! I don't know what the fuck I'm oh, doing I'm on Snapchat. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. We've been investigated already for the YouTube channel. 
nothing was found. Now, there's been a story going on for the last four days that I have been uh, avoiding. And the reason why I've been avoiding it is because... It deals with a family that is being labeled as abusive towards their children. Philip DeFranco has uploaded two videos on this family calling them out for child abuse and mental abuse. I talked about it on the show yesterday and this blew up far more than I thought it would. Since we talked about it yesterday, it's been picked up by Heat Street, The New York Post, The Daily Mail, BBC News, and many more. Thousands and thousands of people are demanding that this YouTube channel of this family known as Daddy05 gets removed off of YouTube for child abuse. Am I an abusive dad? No! I'm a sweetheart. Okay, if we're really abused, how do we have this nice house? And how do we have this YouTube channel? I don't know, Carol. I don't know. It reminds me of my own family, and I wouldn't necessarily label this as abuse. In a video they called Tablet Destruction Prank, at one point the dad pushes Cody. That sends him face first into a bookshelf, and then we see later in the video his pillow is covered with blood. He has a bloody nose not only because his dad decided to make this video, but because he pushed him. Although the father's defense is that it wasn't actually blood, it was red ink, and his nose isn't bleeding, but that's a scab. Which, even if I gave him the benefit of doubt, you still pushed your kid face first into a shelf. Hey. There's no child abuse going on here. If we lost our YouTube channel or anything bad happened to where we couldn't have our YouTube channel, it would do more harm to this family than it would good. So what can be said in Mike's defense here? If people like the content, why shut it down? The free market has spoken. That's the beauty of YouTube, right? There's no TV executives, there's just subscribers. It's pure contact with the audience. And Daddy of Five has a hit show. To delete their channel would be censorship. If there's one thing reality TV has taught us, it's that Americans love to watch train wreck families. People like to live vicariously through destruction, stupidity, and cruelty. Audiences love to be able to look down on reality stars and say, Hey, at least I'm not that dumb. At least I'm not that messed up. Daddy of Five is just honey boo boo on steroids. It's jackass child reality edition. And out there, there are lots of people who seem to care about this family. Every Friday, it's fan mail Friday, and the Martins get to open package after package of presents from their fans. The dad collects toys, and people are sending him the toys that he loves by the boatload. He doesn't even have time to open them all. So Mike loves Batman. He's got the uh, symbol on the wall in his office. He collects Batman toys and- Batman! He really likes these, these stupid pop figurines. Collects Batman pops. And you also love your pops. He's addicted to collecting pops. And I'm addicted to collecting Batman because most of my pops are Batman. And I realize Mike Martin will never listen to me, you know, Dr. Downvote. I'm just a hater. But uh, maybe that man would listen to his toys. You know, maybe he would listen to Batman. Mike, a storm is coming. This is just the beginning. Don't mind the haters, Mike. Keemstar and I agree. You're the best dad on YouTube. Don't listen to him. It's child abuse. Oh, shut up, Bats, you square. My daddy abused me and I turned out just fine. Ain't that right, daddy? Mm. Yeah. Listen, can I explain something to you about being a daddy? <sighs> Not again. Nigga, as long as you live in my house, you put a sir on the end of it when you talk to me. Grandpa, stop saying the flippin' N-word. I think we should hit Cody in the head with a... Ooh, there's an idea. Better yet, why don't you just drown Cody in the tub? Call it, Dad Drowns Son Like an Unwanted Puppy. A uh, prank. That's not a prank. Well, I guess it's the kind of prank you can only do once. Prank it is not. Cruelty and hatred fills your mind. I see what's in your mind. And it is stupid. Listen to me, Mike. I grew up with no parents. From what I've seen, it'd be better if your kids did too. You, 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 you can don't.